I feel it in my fingers. In my fingers. I feel it in my toes. I feel it in my toes. Yeah. Love is all a oh, fuck, wank, bugger, shitting, ass, head and hole. Start again. I feel it in my fingers. In my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Philip. Sean. I trust you haven't forgotten about tomorrow. No. Your bi monthly visit. No, I haven't forgotten. Perhaps you could bring the flowers you forgot to bring, Barbara, on Mother's Day. I was gonna. And not a cheap posy from a garage forecourt. I wasn't gonna. Well, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, then. Okay. You've got red on you. Welcome back, Bill. So, Billy, welcome back to the Airwaves. New Christmas single cover of Love Is All Around. Except we've changed the word love to Christmas. Yes, uh, is that an important message to you, Bill? <laughs> Not really, Mike. Christmas is a time for people with someone they love in their lives. And that's not you? That's not me, Michael. When I was young and successful, I was greedy and foolish, and now I'm left with no one, wrinkled and alone. <laughs> wow. Uh, thanks for that, Bill. For what? Well, for actually giving a real answer to a question. It doesn't often happen here at Radio Watford, I can tell you. Ask me anything you like, I'll tell you the truth. The uh, best shag you ever had? Britney Spears. Wow. No, only kidding. <laughs> she was rubbish. OK, um, here's one. How do you think the new record compares to your old classic stuff? Oh, come on, Mikey. You know as well as I do, the record's crap. <laughs> but wouldn't it be great if number one this Christmas wasn't some smug teenager, but an old ex-heroin addict searching for a comeback at any price? All those young popsters come Christmas Day, they'll be stretched out naked with a cute bird balancing on their balls. And I'll be stuck in some dingy flat with my manager, Joe, ugliest man in the world. Fucking miserable because our fucking gamble didn't pay off. So if you believe in Father Christmas, children, like your Uncle Billy does, buy my festering turd of a record and particularly enjoy the incredible crassness of the moment when we try to squeeze an extra syllable into the fourth line. <laughs> I think you're referring to, uh, if you really love Christmas... Come on and let it snow. Ouch. Yes. You must be more adult about these things. Yeah. Come on, Sean. There comes a time when you just... You've got to be a man. Telling you it's a fuss over nothing. Hello, Edward. Hi, Barbara. My, how you've grown. Yeah, you better believe it. What happened? Why is he coming? It wasn't as easy as all that. So Don't we're speak. following you, are we? Um, no, it's probably best if we. Where's the car? Hmm. We cranged it. You were parked. Yeah. I guess we'll have to take the jag. <sighs> Philip. What? Look out! Oh, right. oh, 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 Ed, maybe I should drive. Oh, man. I've adjusted the seat now. All right, we'll just, you know, be careful! Yeah. Oh, here, 
Oh. Okay, Mum, listen, this isn't going to take a second, all right? Philip, have you still got the child locks on? Safety first, Sean. Oh. You can't. Listen, okay, keep moving. If there's any problems, yeah, yeah, I'll do the honks. Does Mum know? Not a whistle. Strange. And what about the whole butterfly effect thing? What can I say? We don't seem to have messed up civilization yet. It's going to be a complicated year. It's going to be a complicated life. What have you done with it? For me, it's books, books, books. I've read everything a man could wish to. Twice. Dickens three times. Any first thoughts? Well, I, I suppose, apart from getting a slightly better haircut, yeah. money would be the obvious thing. Very mixed blessing. Utterly screwed up your grandfather's life, left him without love or friends. I've never bumped into a genuinely happy rich person. Well, it would be nice not to have to work. No, that's a real recipe for disaster. Look what happened to Uncle Fred. What happened to Uncle Fred? Absolutely sort of <laughs> <laughs> wasted his life. You have to use it for things that you really think will make your life the way you want it to be. Come on, really. Think about this. Well, to be honest, I suppose at the moment it would be just great if it could help me get a girlfriend. Wow. Massive. Yeah. Kenneth! Hello, Nicholas. How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. Yeah. Chief Inspector. Keep your seat. Now, I know what you're going to say, but the fact is you've been making us all look bad. I'm sorry, sir. Of course, we all appreciate your efforts, but you've been rather letting the side down. It's all about being a team player, Nicholas. You can't be the Sheriff of London. If we let you carry on running around town, you'll continue to be exceptional, and we can't have that. You'll put us all out of a job. With respect, sir, you can't just make people disappear. Y yes, I can. I'm the Chief Inspector. Well, however you spin this, there's one thing you haven't taken into account. And that's what the team is going to make of this. Sean. I turned it off, all right? It's not easy. What? Being a father is not easy. What? You were 12 when I met you. Already grown up somewhere. I just wanted you to be strong and, and not give up because you lost your dad. Philip, you don't have to explain, huh? No, I, d I do. I, I always loved you, Sean. And I always thought you had it in you to, to do well. And you just need motivation, somebody to look up to. And I, I thought it could be me. Just take care of your mum. There's a good boy. <laughs> Ed, can you pull over? Two seconds. Oh, oh, no! Ed, please pull over. Four. Ed, just pull over! Mama. Christ, what the hell do you think you're doing? Chill out. Everyone's all right. Stop telling me to chill out! And no, for your information, everybody is not all right. What's wrong? Mum, it's Philip. He's gone. Where's he gone? <laughs> Mummy's dead. No, he isn't. <sighs> Get out! Get out! Oh, Jesus! Get out! 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 Get out!